Subscribe our YouTube channel, follow our Facebook, visit our website. This video, we will guide you how to do transaction import from Excel to SQL. First, you need to install the Excel S and MDP import tools. You can get the installer and the sample Excel template from your local agent. Now, let's look on my Excel template. In this example, I will show you how to import sales invoice from Excel to SQL. You have to make sure all the title highlight in yellow color is a compulsory field. For example, you must have your document date, you must have your document number, your customer code, sequence, item code is an optional, item description, quantity, and so on. As you can see, my first invoice IV100061 have four items. Therefore, you need to insert the sequence for all these four items. For example, sequence 1 mean the first item in the invoice. Once you complete, in this Excel, you may delete all the unnecessary fields. For example, in my case, I do not need location, batch, remark 1 and remark 2. So I can just highlight and delete the column from the Excel. You can also check out our previous video in this link on how to do filtering and make sure all the codes is valid. Let's click on save and exit from the Excel. Now let's look on the Excel import tools. For example, I want to import my sales invoice. You may go to sales and click the invoice. Let's select get file to choose your Excel template and select your Excel sheet. For example, my Excel sheet will be sales and purchase and click on get data. As you can see, some of the field system already mapped. So you may just double check, for example, document number, document date, codes, company. For agent, if let's say for agent, you do not want the system matching for you, you may just click and drag back to the left column. If you want system to match the agent column, you may just select this bar. You just click your agent and match the field. This source field is actually from your Excel. Begin from the sequence, it will be the detail field. So as you can see, the sequence system have already matching, item code already matching, and item description. You may click and match to description field. Quantity, UOM, unit price, discount, test inclusive, for example, this one, I should map to the text column. Then I may just drag the text column and map accordingly. Text amount is optional. If you didn't map on the text amount, system will automatically calculate the text amount according to your text code selected. Text inclusive is also optional. Account is also optional. If you map the account column, system will posting to the account according to your Excel file. If you didn't match the account column, system will be mapped according to your stock group or in the tools option setting. Once you complete, you may click on verify. So as you can see, total you have four invoices and the first invoice you have for item. You can also check on the status. OK means you can proceed to import. If there is an error message like invalid agent code, then you may need to check your agent is valid in your SQL database or not. Now, in my case, all is valid, then we may proceed to post to account. Once you click on post to account, system will import all the data in your Excel record successfully posted to the database. Let's look on SQL database. 
let's go to sales invoice as you can see from 0616299 and 100 is already imports Subscribe to our YouTube for the latest video, follow our Facebook for the latest update, go to our website for reports and guides, it's so easy.